What if we're asked to evaluate this expression, arc sine of sine of pi, 5 pi over 6? Well, we know the sine of 5 pi over 6 is just equal to 1 half. So what's the arc sine of 1 half? It's just going to be pi over 6. Now just remember, you may think, well, arc sine and sine are just inverses of each other, but so shouldn't the answer be 5 pi over 6? But remember, we have domain and range restrictions. If you remember sine, right, it's not an inverse function. It's just going to, it's going to horribly, horribly fail the horizontal line test. So we have to restrict the domain and ranges so that way it actually does have an inverse function. And when we make those restrictions in the standard form, we say arc sine of 1 half is just going to be pi over 6.